The Japanese idea of art is a fluid and wide-reaching concept. In general, traditional Japanese artistic endeavors tend to focus on simplicity, beauty, and nature. Their grace is renowned, and their effects are wide-reaching. Things that Western audiences wouldn't usually consider art, such as iajitsu, the Japanese art of the quick draw, are well-respected. In many arts, the effects of Shintoism, and to a much lesser extent Buddhism, can be seen in the significance placed upon the natural world, an exhibition of grace and poise, something that pervades Japanese culture and habits to this day. Shodo, or Japanese calligraphy, is an excellent example of this, calling upon smooth flowing lines and emphasizing the artist's ability to have a steady hand in order to properly depict the kanji. In this way, Japanese art is governed by a vague yet overarching theme that affects all enterprises under its jurisdiction. Sumie, literally black ink painting, is a Japanese art form brought to style by Zen monks, in which the vast majority of a scene is painted entirely in a potent black ink that has been diluted and dissolved in water in order to achieve varying shades of grey, ranging from nearly white to the deepest of blacks. For a piece to be considered true Sumie, it must be simple and spontaneous, yet beautiful and refined. The idea is to capture a scene with as much life as possible and therefore superfluous acts, like sketching the scene out beforehand, are seen as degrading to the final painter. The goal is to capture the essence of a person or a scene with as few brush strokes as possible, and only then can one appreciate the reality. Sumie emphasizes four basic materials, known as the four treasures. The ink block, the stone, the brush, and the paper. All these must be present and used properly, in order to create a true Sumian masterpiece. Literally translated, ukiyo-e means pictures of the floating world. Ukiyo-e is a style of Japanese woodblock print and painting that flourished in Japan's Edo period, occurring from the years 1603 to 1868. Under the peaceful rule of the shoguns, sensual attributes of life were encouraged, and tranquil existence was brought to life through art. Depictions of city life, famous theater actors, and romantic landscapes are all examples of types of ukiyo-e paintings one might come across. It encompasses the Japanese aesthetics of nature, poetry, beauty, and love. The truly rich culture of Japan is evident upon seeing the fantastic art form that is ukiyo-e. Shado, Shado, the way of tea. The Japanese tea ceremony has many names, but they all refer to the same highly formal and ritualistic art. At its most complex, the Japanese tea ceremony lasts four hours and consists of five guests kneeling around the table while a host prepares to them matcha, or green tea, that is served to them twice with a meal in between. Everything about the ceremony is choreographed, with a root in Zen ideologies. The goal is to express camaraderie with the guests, while also allowing them to detach from the material world in order to achieve inner peace. Mastery of hosting a tea ceremony takes years, even decades, to achieve, and requires absolute knowledge of the steps involved as well as making sure that everything in the room is aesthetically pleasing so that the guests are as comfortable as possible. It is the pinnacle of formal hosting. In the 6th century, paper was introduced to Japan, and it was around this time that origami, the ancient art of paper folding, came about. It is an art form that has been passed down from generation to generation. The etymology of the word comes from the Japanese ori, which means fold, and the word kami, which means paper. Many works of origami, including swans, flowers, hearts, and butterflies, can be created by exclusively making folds in paper. During Japan's Edo period, origami became both a leisure activity and an art form. Unlike kirigami, which can be made through cutting paper. Origami is created entirely by folds. This makes the completed projects that much more amazing.
Ikebana literally means living or arranged flowers, and it has been a spiritual practice in Japan since the 7th century. Though the practice has become detached from its Buddhist roots, the art is still seen as a way to connect with nature. It is a meditative and minimalist practice that involves arranging flowers and plants into an aesthetically pleasing display. The arrangement is created in total silence, so as to aid the peaceful reflection upon nature. Masters of this art appreciate not only the positive space filled by the flowers, but the negative space said flowers create, and incorporate these principles into the final design. The art form has over 300 schools of thought, with each emphasizing a different fundamental practice or way of thinking that affects the final Ikebana design. Everything is important in this art form, down to the angle of the flowers. It is truly a glorious melding of simple perfection and nature. Kirigami is the Japanese word for the art of designing paper. Kiri is the Japanese word for cut. And gami means paper. Logic and symmetry is imperative when it comes to kirigami. Snowflakes, flowers, and a variety of shapes can all be made through the use of cutting paper. In the 17th century, kirigami was recognized as a true art form, not only in Japan, but across Asia as well. Kirigami is created to represent grace, elegance, wealth, and perfection, and its beauty is able to bring to life every single one of these values. From designing scrapbook pages to decorating handmade greeting cards, there are many examples around that incorporate the art of Kirigami. Mm -hmm.